we're going to create a Rails API application with an Angular 2 frontend. So first of all, let us start by creating the Rails API application, which is going to produce a JSON API, a JSON object, which will be consumed by our Angular 2 framework. Once the app is created, let's change directly into directory into the app. And now we need to open the application in our favorite editor. And we need to go to the gem file and import some gems. We are going to need active model serializer. And we're also going to need wrap course. So we're going to comment this out. Once that is done, then we save and then go back to the terminal to run bundle install. Which will install the active model serializer and the wrap course. Now, once that is done, we need to navigate into the rack, the course file in the config and initializes folder. And we need to comment this out. And then change this to allow Rails to accept every request coming in from, from Angular 2. You can check this out at the documentation. So once this is done, we need to start creating our models. First, we need to, we are going to create a post model, which would have a title And a description. Once this is done, we need to migrate our database. And then now we need to generate a serializer. which produces a post serializer for us. So we have a model file and a serializer file. Now let's navigate into our tester detail to see what's going on. <coughs> so we have in the model file, the post.rb and the in the serializer we have post serializer. What we need to do with our serializer is to give all the uh, all the attributes which we, which needs to be um, consumed as a JSON object in the Angular 2 front end. So we need to add the title and the description. We can also hide, say, the updated art, for example. So next, we need to generate the controller file. We 
which needs to be plural in terms with uh, the convention of rails. Once this is done, we need to go back into the post controller to supply the action that we are going to be needing. We're going to supply the index action. And at the index action, we need to request for all posts. After which, we can render the JSON. Once this is done, we need to navigate into the route file, we supply a route. Rails has provided for us resources. We can check this by running Rails routes to check all the routes available. So we have the index available, which we just created. We can also create a create action, show action, and update action. But for now, we're going to focus on the index action. Once this is done, we need to create a seed file. So we navigate into the seed.rb and we can create a sample, sample post. So we'll create some dummy posts with a title of, for example, test post. This number and also a description Sample description for now we can run the seed file by doing rails db seed. This in turn produces and now we can already get the JSON objects. Oh yeah, we need to run the server first and launch a new tab from where we can get the post. Now we get the post and if you have Python installed on your computer you can use Python to get a much neater version of the JSON. So now we get an array of posts which we created earlier. 
with this you can already consume this JSON objects in in the angular 2 front-end application so in the next video we're going to create an angular 2 app and we're going to consume this with an angular 2 application stay tuned and see you in the next video thank you